All right, guys, so we are going to go over gravity. So our learning goal is understanding gravity. I can analyze gravity's role in our solar system. So first of all, what is gravity? Um, if I had a pin in my hand and I dropped the pin and it falls to the ground, and I said, what made the pin fall to the ground? Most of you would be able to say, oh, it was gravity, right? But what is it? <clears throat> it's this pull of things down to Earth, but it's more than that. All objects actually have gravity. Um, and that gravity just depends on um, a couple of things, which is mass and distance. So the thing that holds all of our objects in our solar system, that's gravity. So it's the force that attracts. Um, first of all, it's a force that attracts everything to the center of the Earth. And we know that on Earth, that's how we kind of define it, because the Earth is so large compared to everything that's on it that everything is pulled towards it. Um, but gravity in a sense of the solar system and the universe, there's two big kind of things that it depends on. It depends on how big or how much mass an object has and how close the objects are together. So the larger the object, the more gravity, um, gravitational pull it has. And the closer the two objects are together, the more gravitational pull they're going to have. Um, it's really important because it affects our everyday lives on Earth. Um, without it, things would not stick to the Earth. That's why we know that um, things are drawn to the Earth. But it also, another really important thing is that it holds all of our planets in orbit around the sun. So the sun is this massive, massive thing in our solar system. It's like it has, it makes up more than 90% of the mass of the entire solar system. So because it's so large, um, all of these planets that are in our solar system are drawn to it and are orbiting around it. So that's what creates um, this orbit and this pull um, is the sun's gravity. So our distance from the sun is this kind of perfect spot and we call it like a Goldilocks spot, right? Not too hot, not too cold, just right. So that's why life has been able to thrive on our planet because of our distance from the sun. Um, and it's and it's because of the earth size in comparison to the sun size and just kind of where that planet ended up orbiting around the sun and its distance. So when we talk about gravity, we have to talk about weight. The two go hand in hand. Weight is the force of gravity on an object. Um, our weight on Earth is how much force the Earth's gravity has on us. So it's pulling us towards the surface. But mass and weight are different. We use them interchangeably when we're on Earth, and that's fine because we're always on Earth. But <clears throat> when you get to the bigger solar system, your weight could change, but your mass doesn't. So if I go to, let's say, um, the moon or, or another planet, the moon is much smaller than Earth. So it doesn't have as strong of a gravitational pull. So my mass is the same. I look exactly the same. I still have two legs, two arms, two hands, whatever. Um, and I'm, I'm the same mass when I go to the moon, but my weight is different, which is I'm going to be, I'm going to weigh a lot less because the gravity is not pulling me down to the moon as much as it's pulling me down to the earth. And that's the same for other objects. Your weight is going to be um, much higher if you're on Jupiter, let's say, because Jupiter is so much larger than earth and has a greater gravitational pull. Some fun facts about gravity. Gravity is what causes the ocean tides. We'll talk more about that when we talk about the moon. You're welcome to watch that video. Um, also, sometimes when you um, are in a plane, you can experience or plane or a roller coaster, you can experience different levels of um, gravitational pull. So if you've ever been on a roller coaster and kind of felt the um, the you, your stomach kind of turn a little bit, that is uh, the force of gravity kind of changing um, as you move. Um, it also has a lot to do with um, the um, the velocity as well. So um, skydivers can only go at a speed of around 122 miles per hour because of um, some of the pulls of gravity. So those are all of your notes with gravity. Um, and just message your teacher if you have any questions or comments.